Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we'll be talking about how to back up your Raspberry Pi. You have a project, you put it together, you want to make an image of it so that way if anything goes wrong, you have a backup. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to do it. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you how to back up your SD card on a Raspberry Pi. This is the scenario for me, guys. I've been watching Chris's Basement. It's a YouTube channel on how to set up multiple instances of Octoprint on one Raspberry Pi with two cameras so I can control both my printers remotely. Spent a lot of time on this, guys. Too much time. And I'm gonna leave a link for Chris's channel down below because he did an absolutely phenomenal job showing Showing you how to set up multiple printers on one Raspberry Pi. So if you're interested in FDM printing and Octoprint and you have it set up and you want to do multiple machines, take a look at that link down below. He really did an amazing job. It still took me quite a few hours to set this up and get it right. And I don't want to lose that. I don't want anything corrupting the card or if I go in there and change some commands and I can't remember what I did and it's just ruined. I don't want to lose all that time. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to back up this SD card. I'm going to make an image of it is what it's called. And what I want to do is take the SD card, go over to my computer, which is a Mac, this is for Mac users, and I'm going to make a copy of that SD card as a backup. I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you how to put it to another SD card, and then I'm going to put it on this system and show you that it works. Let's get over to the computer so I can show you what I'm doing. Alright, so first things first, what we're going to do is plug in the SD card and it should show up as boot, and there it is. That's the SD card, and I wanna back it up. What we're gonna do is go over here to Launchpad, and we're gonna open up Other, and we're gonna to go to Disk Utility. Now, if yours isn't set up like mine, you could also type in Disk Utilities in your finder right here. What we're gonna be looking for in this one is the boot, the external boot. So we're gonna grab this right here, and it is disk three. So if you click on the generic storage, it's disk three. We're gonna keep that in mind. That's what we went in here to look for. And we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna type in terminal. I'm gonna open up a terminal window. Now I'm gonna leave a copy of this code down below, but we're gonna copy this, and you're gonna paste it right here. And I'll just kinda of describe what's going on. It says sudo, it's gonna be duplicated if disk drive, and we're gonna change that to three, disk three, because that's what it needs to be. So we're gonna hit three. You wanna make sure you get this right. I'm not responsible for your machine. You're doing this at your own risk. Blah, 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 as you guys know. And I am trying to direct it to the desktop and it's gonna be called Pi SD Card Backup DMG. We're gonna hit enter. Before you hit enter, guys, if you have something that keeps your Mac awake, like I do right here, I have, I believe it's called, what is this called? Keep Awake or you can, it's Java, you get something that will keep your screen awake. I'm gonna activate that. That means it's gonna keep my screen open because this is gonna take a little bit of time. So without further ado, let's hit enter. We're gonna enter the password of your Mac. And I put mine in and you could see it's making a backup right here of the SD card. So it's slowly building that up. It's gonna take some time. We'll let that do its thing give it some time I'll come back to you when this is done now this can take quite a bit of time it's a 64 gig card it could probably take about a half hour or more so we'll see I'm gonna come back to you guys all right we're back it's been <laughs> probably about two hours this one took a long time it doesn't look like it's doing anything but you will see the SD card reader blinking if you don't have a light indicating it you won't know but it just stays on password and stays in that state forever and then eventually you'll see this in and out and you'll have a file up here and if we go to info I said it was a 64 gig card and there you go that's the size of it I'm gonna change the name of this to octo dash pi cam because I added cameras to this one so there's my file now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna write one because I want to have a backup now you could store this on your computer and then write it from here but I wanted to show you how you could also write to this and uh, plus I want to check it and make sure I did it correctly so we're gonna eject the the bootable one let that get ejected all right we'll take that one out and now we'll put in the new one which is just an SD card a 64 gig there's actually several ways I do this I can actually write the code in terminal and it'll do it that way but I've been using etcher and I really like it because I get a progress bar and I'll leave a link down below but this is etcher right here we'll open that up and we'll select an image 
which is on the desktop, which is going to be Octopi with cameras. We'll open that up. We'll select target device, media storage device, continue, and we'll go ahead and flash this. It asks for a password. I don't know why, but it does that with a Mac. And we'll begin flashing. This process will go a lot faster. It looks like it's going to take roughly 15 minutes, so we'll come back then. All right, so it's done. It automatically ejects it. I'm going to X out of that. And I'm going to take the SD card out, and I'm going to plug it back in, make sure everything looks good. So you take it out and put it back in. It just automatically ejects it. I don't know why it does that. But it looks like all my information is on there. So we're going to eject that. And I'm going to try and set it up on my Pi and see if it runs. All right, so I just put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi that I just formatted, that I made an image of, and I transferred the image onto a brand new card. Let's see if this worked. All right, just to show you guys it worked, automatically it brought me back to my original OctoPi. So you can see that there, and it does have the cameras working as well so you can see that this worked that's the image i just made so i'm gonna actually just use that one now it really doesn't affect anything as far as i know the octopi you make an image of it you can put it into your raspberry pi usually have no problems retro pi i've never had a problem and some images i've made with just raspbian and stuff like that i've never had a problem i just made a copy that way and never had any issues so it worked great every time HomeKit was another one that I was able to do that with too so I made copies of HomeKit because that's the stuff I like to play with so I made copies of it and I never had any issues okay so it definitely works this is the new SD card I'm controlling it with my phone as you can see we'll go over to the this way because I have multiple instances now that one's working my Pi project has been backed up which is awesome so now I have two cards of this and I have an image on my computer that I can keep on an external drive and if I ever need to get back to it I can get back to it now this is good practice if you're in the middle of a project and you don't want to lose what you got you can back this up and then go back to trying to fiddle with it and get it to work and this is kind of a practice that I've started because sometimes you get to that point of no return where all those hours are gone and you gotta start over from scratch which isn't necessarily a bad thing because that's how we learn but it can be very frustrating and just in case you're interested if you ever get a chance to get an FDM printer called this way for a hundred and thirty dollars so far it's basically an ender 3 really good deal really good deal I might do a video on that I'm not sure because currently they're unavailable that's it for me guys. If this helped you in any way, hit that like button or subscribe. And if you want to see more of my craziness, make sure you ring the bell so that way you know when I put out a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys! I'm really spending too much time 3D printing right now. It's highly, highly addictive. So if you're gonna get one, get ready. I know what you're thinking, Crazy Will's Tech Show's over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over, I made a lot. It's been a good year.